feel like the day of action, like real action movies that we all maybe, or a majority of us came up with, with Stallone, with Schwarzenegger, yeah, Willis. Bruce Willis, like that was absolutely an era that may not be completely replicated. So I think we have to pivot and look in a new direction. There are a lot of superheroes, i.e. a lot of effects. I think the closest thing to it that I've seen recently is more of a Keanu Reeves, John Wick. John Wick. Yeah. Like really doing some like physically demanding. Otherwise, I think in all of the superhero movies, there's an amazing stunt team and amazing stunt men and women. That do, amazing special effects. That make actors in front of the camera that are reading the lines look so badass. Yeah, I just, I agree. I, I, I feel like I said before when we were talking about the story and, and building characters that you care about. I feel that there's there's a kind of almost a little bit of a toxic masculinity where actors are afraid to look vulnerable. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone especially, was all, I loved his characters. Every single character that he played because there was vulnerability there. He was always fighting for his daughter, his wife, or for someone that he, he loved. And whereas now I feel action is just action for the sake of action. And when someone saves, the, if, the, if the rock saves the day, Vin Diesel saves the day, it's like, cool, you saved the day, but it's not for anything, really, you know. Fast and Furious franchise, I loved it. The first movie, I cared about family. <laughs> <laughs> because it was a dynamic between Paul Walker, Vin Diesel, and Michelle Rodriguez, and, and you know, there was, it was all these kind of beautiful things. But real stunts, you know, that's why I kind of, I'll go back to James Bond, where, I love watching James Bond because you have real stunt people doing real things. I think a lot of the special effects nowadays sometimes takes me out of a movie because I feel like I'm just watching a cartoon, an animation. So for me, I really respected uh, Land of Bad, Riscate uh, Impossible, because of the stunt team that we had, because of the actors doing real stunts, real explosions, real falls, real jumps. And that's what I really respect about different actors that we are, like, that we do have now in like Keanu Reeves, who is. He's almost Olympic standard in shooting. I was going to throw in Tom Cruise, who's the highest paid stunt man. Oh my God, he's great. Right. He's he's, he's, he's it, incredible. It, for me, he's number one, the absolute number one. Like the fact that he's at his age and his whole career, he's just been constantly just bettering himself. That for me is is the the golden ticket right there. That's there's no one can touch that. The guy broke his ankle in a in a take in a scene, and still climbed up the side of a building and walked past camera. And they kept that in the movie, which is crazy. So you've got to appreciate that sort of commitment. But um, yeah, it's it's a very different time now. So will it go back to, to that? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You want to. And, and you'll find nostalgic movies like this where I'll answer that. Oh, God. Is it mom? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay.